My name is uh, Erland Moredesen, representing Volvo Bus Corporation and working with uh, new business development, especially in the area of electromobility. This is the first time that we're here and um, we are actually um, very happy that we're invited to have this discussion. And uh, although we have been here only for the, we are here for the first time, um, the vision that uh, has been shared this morning, uh, nicely said, was, was very close to our heart and our philosophy. And uh, we, uh, let's say, go along uh, the globe uh, with our messages and um, our strategy is very much uh, fitting with the strategy that Podgorica uh, currently have. So uh, it's very, very, uh, very good strategy actually going forward. Like this city and many cities in, in, in Europe, uh, we're coming from diesel basically and uh, some cities have invested in gas buses. Um, but we are very much going for electrification. And electrification doesn't necessarily mean that there is no diesel consumption no more. If we think about hybrid buses, that is just a combination of electrification and uh, a diesel engine, which gives you the high flexibility and is very simple to implement in any city. So it can be replacing the current fleet, uh, I would say, uh, very easily. If you would take a next step and you would go towards more electrification, like with electric hybrids, as we call them, or with full electric buses, then you would need charging infrastructure. And for the charging infrastructure, uh, we are making use of opportunity charging. We call it OpCharge. And that is an open architecture, which is not only used by Volvo, but also by other competitors that can make use of this charging infrastructure. And we are working closely together with Siemens, ABB, and the Dutch uh, startup company Heliox uh, that provide this technology. So the idea is that we done uh, at end stations, we will do the charging in three to six minutes, and the bus can drive then uh, up to, uh, say, 20 kilometers in electric. Uh, and that is giving you uh, some extra investments in infrastructure and that takes a little bit more time than what you would do if you would replace your fleet immediately with hybrid buses. Yeah, I, I think what I heard t today and, and what we also discussed already uh, a little bit earlier is that, um, and as I said before, the vision that is being shared with us is so close to our heart and we believe, especially when we can also get uh, new energy into it. So talking green energy like solar power and wind energy, if that will be possible, then we really uh, do the right things. And uh, in order to get that going, uh, I could imagine that a cooperation not only with the city, but also with future electricity providers uh, is very beneficial and, and, and will support that strategy. And I felt uh, that that vision is also being shared here. And, uh, and we were also honest to say, I mean, the share of public transport here in the city should grow in order to also follow the growth of this city because I understood that the last few years you have been growing like seven eight percent in population so um, that can only be solved with more public transport and we share also the same vision that uh, the bikes which is also part of the plan here is very very efficient actually the most efficient one uh, and, and, and closely followed by buses uh, coming afterwards.